Today's Financial Friday feature is sponsored by Carolina Trust Federal Credit Union. Hey y'all, I'm August, Carolina Trust Brand Ambassador, and today you're watching Living Local Carolina Financial Friday. We're gonna try to get crafty today. As you guys know, I bought my first home last year with Carolina Trust using their first time home buyer loan. And one of my favorite things about being a homeowner is being able to decorate for every holiday and get my house, you know, in the holiday spirit. One of my favorite holidays to decorate for is fall. But unfortunately, a lot of the different decor that I really like is super expensive. So today I found this decor idea on TikTok and everything here is from the Dollar Tree. And we're gonna get started and see if we can make ourselves a cheap but still cute fall centerpiece. So we've got some flowers, some candles, um, some little pumpkins that you kind of stick in, um, a thick poster board, foam pieces, and glue. And if you're not really crafty like me, I will say Dollar Tree and Walmart this year both have a lot of really cute fall decor for a bit cheaper. Okay, so now we've got all of our foam pieces and they do need to touch um, or just slightly touch. And we're gonna measure those out so that I can measure how long our poster board needs to be and where we need to cut it. So we've got our poster board that we already measured and cut out. I'm gonna flip it over so that the black side where we traced is not on it. And then we're going to distribute our little foam pieces on here. And then once you kind of get them where you want them, we're going to glue them down. Okay, so now that you can see, we've got our four styrofoam pieces glued onto our board. And now we're gonna take these candles and glue them in between each styrofoam pieces. So now we're gonna go in with our flowers and stick them into our little foam pieces and make a really pretty um, floral centerpiece. So you can keep all of your flowers together as you're placing them in your arrangement, or if you want to cut them up like stem by stem to create a little bit of a difference, um, you can use a wire cutter and cut the wire in each of your flowers, which is what I'm gonna do. And when you're making the cut, some of them, you might wanna keep the leaf on, um, some you'll keep the leaf off, and maybe even do them like different lengths so that you know, you've know you got the ability to kind of adjust them to where you want them. And then the good thing with these flowers is that if we decide um, you know, we need more flowers or we'd like it to be a little bit more full, we can always just run back to the Dollar General and get some more. And as you can see, it's really starting to come together. Okay, now I'm gonna add in my fun pumpkins um, anywhere that I have like some big gaps. So right here in the front will be good. How cute is that? It's really coming together. I love when you can see um, a craft project that you start really try to come together towards the end and you can see, you know, all of the hard work that you put in really starting to show. So we have got our centerpiece all created and now it's time to add in the lights and see how she goes. Let's see, so we're gonna add in our lights and all of our candle holders. Let's see. And there you have it, a Dollar Tree centerpiece that is perfect for any table to really get your home starting to feel and look like fall. I know this definitely makes me wanna go grab all of my fall decor out of the attic and start decorating. Thanks so much for watching Living Local Carolina Financial Friday. We'll see you next time. Today's Financial Friday feature is sponsored by Carolina Trust Federal Credit Union.